the last map that we showed, we discussed the tectonic activity that occurs in the Salish Sea. And to follow up on that, we're presenting here a map that shows the deformation that occurs on the, on the surface of the Earth that is associated with plate collision and tectonic deformation. Here we see Skipjack Island, just north of Waldron Island, and we see a gouge in the seafloor that I'm showing right here with the cursor, and this is a very linear feature, almost east-west in orientation, and this, we have discovered, is a new fault a fault that we call the Skipjack Island Fault. It's actually a fault zone in the sense that there are several faults that make up this feature. And you can see some of the smaller faults associated with Skipjack Island. In fact, what I'm showing right now is a linear feature that cuts through Skipjack Island and continues off in this direction and you can see this fault by boat. It's a very nice fault plane, and it shows that all of this sedimentary rock is tilted up vertically, and that vertical deformation is a result of movement along this fault. Now, movement along this fault is in the direction of east-west. It's a fault that we call a left lateral strike-slip fault. That is that it is probably a very vertical fault to depth and that it's moving to the left no matter where you stand on either side of the fault. That is that these rocks here have moved to your left and if you looked on the other side, these rocks here have moved to the left. Now, how do we determine that this is a left lateral fault? We've determined that based on the apparent deformation of this rock body here. As you can see, these steeply dipping sedimentary rocks that are shown, the bedding are shown in these linear features that I'm showing you here are deformed to the right. They are deformed down like this. And this is what we call drag folding. That is that at one time these sedimentary rocks were straight before the fault started to move. And when the fault moved, friction and drag on that caused those things to drag across this direction. And that is because the fault is moving this direction, it's dragging or hanging behind in the motion. Now, in addition to the tectonic deformation that we see in this image, this multi-beam echo sounder bathymetry image, we see other features in here that are promising habitat. For example, these rocks here, these bedded rocks here, are good rockfish habitats, as are these rocks in this locality here. And in addition, we see sedimentary bed forms. For instance, this bed form in here, and some of these bed forms around in here that are potential sand lance habitat, the forage fish that is preyed upon by fish, mammals, and other organisms on the seafloor. 